Now we're up to D6. D6 has all of nine pieces in it. So we've got an octagon in the center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble these two pieces together before connecting it to the octagon in the center on all four corners. So I've got my pieces laid out. For my basting, I'm gonna base my triangle corners. I'm gonna do the legs first and then the hypotenuse to get the tags out of the way towards the sashing. For this, I'm gonna baste the little sides first, then the shorter side, and then the longer side to get the tags to go out towards the edge as well. And then for the octagon, I'm gonna start with one side and then do every other, and then come back and do the other four. So there's one way to mess this up quite easily and have to start all over. There's two lengths of sides here. So you've got the shorter side, So that's these edges here without the triangles, and they're smaller than this one, obviously. And you've got the longer sides, which are where you put the triangles on, versus this. Now, if you go to, if, when you put the triangle with the other piece together and you line it up, it's gonna be obvious, but I've also done it when I was really tired and I was really something I thought I was supposed to, I don't know. But anyway, just make sure that this is in the right direction because if you try to do it this way it's not going to be the right size at the end of the day so i'm going to go ahead and get my pieces basted i'm going to i'm going to baste all these corners i'm going to baste all my pieces actually at once and then i can start assembling the corner pieces together so i've put my corner pieces together i've taken together i've stitched this one together already but um when you baste these black pieces you have an uh, obtuse triangle, which doesn't get to the point exactly sometimes. So whatever t amount you're off, and I'm not sure if this will show, but the point on the fabric is here, and the point on the triangle is slightly past it. If I were to line this up on one side, it would be a lot off on the other because there's a difference here as well. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna center it best I can so that there's an even distance between this gap and this gap and then when I stitch it together it'll pull this up and it will disappear and then when you put the sashings on it'll go work itself in as well. So we finish stitching these together and then we can attach them. So I finished sewing together each of these corners, and now I'm going to go ahead and sew them onto the octagon. So I finished connecting all four corners of my block, and now my D6 block is completed.